So working for the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, uh, we do a lot of different things all centered around wildlife um, and wildlife habitat. One of the things that we do are habitat projects where we try to change the habitat to whatever we need it to be for a particular species. Um, and the case that we have here was uh, we had a bunch of invasive species um, and we wanted to change the habitat to meet the needs of a specific wildlife species. In this case, it was Bob White Quail. Um, they're an early succession species, and meaning that the forest type that they like is really young in most of Virginia, uh, and here too, it's mature forest. And so we came in, got rid of the invasive species, cut everything back, and now we're going to let it regenerate some naturally and then add in some native species um, for that particular animal. So another way uh, that we... Um, help conserve the environment is to keep people connected to the environment and uh, so one of the things that we do is provide recreational opportunities uh, for outdoor enthusiasts on wildlife recreational um, centered activities so it could be trails it could be bird watching it could be hunting or fishing that sort of thing access boating access you know like boat ramps and things like that behind me is the Mattapanai River and we're on Sandy Point State Forest and our agency maintains duck blinds for hunters to use. And those, th that is done to encourage sportsmen to participate in hunting and to provide them access to it. So that's just another way that, to con help conserve the environment is to, pe to keep people uh, connected to it so they care about it. So I think the, the there's a lot of different policies that affect what we do in terms of um, uh, how we you know, interact with wildlife and that sort of thing. But honestly, the, the policies that affect my job the most is how we use equipment and on our job um, and how, um, how we uh, uh, use permits to work with the public. So, we have policies on, on you know, the use of firearms and the use of trucks and the use of cell phones and honestly those affect us more than anything because we use them, those are the tools that we use the most. And then the way we use permits to manage wildlife is the other, the other way. So um, anyway, those, that's, you know, it's not as glamorous as some of the other things we do but those, that's the truth of the matter. I think it, it goes back to when I was younger. The, uh, uh, I fell in love with being in the outdoors and um, that, that happened because there were people in my life that, that, in my life that uh, invested in me, you know, that, that took me outdoors and we spent a lot of time hiking and fishing and a little bit of time hunting, but most of it was uh, just recreation that took place outside. So I had this natural appreciation for being outdoors and then that gravitated into um, into you know enjoying wildlife more and and uh, so it was an easy fit for me to, to find a job that was outside and I tried different jobs that were outside I mean I framed houses when I was in college and that's outside and that's that was horrible so you know it there, there was always something about being in the woods and being in the wildlands that, that attracted me. And so that's where I'm at home. So it was a real, real easy question when I had to ask myself what it was that I wanted to do in life. It was pretty obvious, really. So I think the one thing that I did, uh, and at the time I didn't even know I was doing it, but looking back, it was the one thing that I did for myself um, early on. And that was, I didn't have, I, I wanted to have a full-time job. I, I aspired to be a full-time biologist. But the one thing that I did was I took time to, to do other jobs. I did a lot of part-time jobs as wildlife technicians. Um, I volunteered for Virginia Game Department for the Fish and Wildlife Service for the Virginia Department of Forestry. And so I did a lot of different jobs with those people to see what it was that they did. And it gave me a lot of experience and it, it honed what 
I, I didn't know about myself and what it was that I exactly wanted to do because once you know exactly what you want to do, then that's the hardest part. Getting there is often pretty easy once you can narrow it down. So do things that narrow it down and you'll find out right away whether you like them or not. That's my advice. So the best part of my, my job hmm. Oh gosh, good girl. <laughs>